what's going on youtube snake eye here back at you with another video and as you guys see in the title with a very touchy subject very heavy issue to speak on so let's talk about it Warning, the images and language that follow are disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I've only, I've handled one Python ever. Okay. Do you want to practice one of these? you going to do that? Yeah, he can do it. He don't need to practice. Okay. So we'll tell you, so there's... Can you lift this up? No, no, no. You pull this in the same oh, way, you hold it. and then you just smack, like you hit down, and eventually it'll groove. Boom! Because it's a like a shot. comes it out, and it comes back in. So it shoots in, and then it comes back into it, and so you'll, you'll know. The snake has the two eyes in front, and you see where the back of the jaws are, right? Where they stick out there. Yeah. And X right between in there, and that's where you want to put it. You see okay. the eyes and the back so of the jaws. The eyes, the back of the jaw. Yep. Right. Put it right in the center and bang it. Alrighty, so welcome back to the video. My name is Dre. I am the Snake God. And as you guys have seen in the intro to this video, there were snakes obliterated, inhumanely killed, murdered for no reason. And to give you guys a little backstory, there's a man by the name of Chris Coffee down in Florida who had snakes. Um, he was supposed to be grandfathered in under this uh, new law that Florida put in place. However, in 2021, that changed everything and he had to get rid of majority of his snakes uh well he got rid of most of them however there were a lot that he couldn't get rid of and as you guys you know retics get pretty big you can't rehome them just to anyone and if he was shipping it's going to take some time and some money he reached out to fwc for more help for guidance for an extension and instead of giving him an extension they told him not to get rid of the rest of the animals that he had and they ended up citing him which uh, added up to 72 citations two charges for each animal there were 36 total and now he's on probation so the people that he reached out to for help are the, the very ones who murdered his animals so that's where we're at today um and it's something that's very unfortunate and the reason i'm making this video i don't live in florida but the reason i'm making this video is number one um i support a lot of my friends and fellow reptile keepers down in florida <clears throat> as well as us arc florida but also, this could happen to any one of us. Um, you know, if, if, if our fish and wildlife, no matter where we're at, decided to come up with some of these awful bans and laws and decided that they wanted to come in and murder our animals, they would be, by law, within their right. And we, we have to make sure we're doing any and everything we can to prevent that from happening. Now, if anyone from the FWC is watching, I just want to take a little time and let's have a teachable moment. This is a reticulated python, Maleo python reticulatus. This is a boa constrictor, BCI, boa constrictor imperator. Huge difference, learn it. And I find it ironic that you guys don't know the difference. And even the sheriff's office in Florida knows the difference between, they know how to identify a boa constrictor. Because here you see them with Chandler's wildlife holding a boa constrictor, which they actually rehomed to them rehomed to him because they found this particular boa constrictor roaming loose in florida now you guys went in and killed all of these animals including a perfectly legal boa constrictor they weren't roaming free and they weren't doing anything wrong and from what i saw they were all perfectly friendly now what makes matters worse is as you can see in this picture here is there an fwc officer standing here in all his gear just completely grinning at the fact that he just killed a snake and I don't know about you guys, but that, that's not something that would make me feel like a man. Um, I don't know. I feel like having compassion and understanding that these animals are not out to hurt or kill you 
is a little bit better. But unfortunately, we're talking Florida FWC here. And as well as you see in this clip here, there is an FWC officer after they just killed the snake posing for a picture and then disregarding and throwing the snake in the trash like it's nothing. That to me was was hard to watch, and which is why I can't watch the entire video because it's it's the the nonchalantness that bothers me so much and the simple fact that they knew they were wrong and they kept going and they didn't they didn't care now let's flip the scenario here and let's say this was a dog breeding facility and this this dog breeder was doing everything that they could possible to abide by the laws and the rules and for whatever reason the aspca or or the 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 whatever wanted to come and check on the dogs and instead of instead of checking on the dogs they decide to start killing the dogs they take this nail device hold down the dog's head and then bang the dog is done if that were to happen this would be on national news and it's unfortunate that since the reptiles are looked at as these disgustingly slimy evil creatures nobody seems to care what makes matters worse about this entire situation the first snake that they pulled out they wanted him to hold it while they killed it now again imagine you with your little your puppy or your kitten and your dog or your cat having to hold this dog while they put it out of their misery at your home and blood splatters everywhere and this this may sound gruesome but if you watch the video this is exactly what happened and it's very unfortunate so what can we do to fight back well i'm gonna put us arc florida's information down in the description and for those of you that don't know us arc us arc florida is the organization that helps fight for the rights down for reptile keepers in Florida. Now again, I don't live in Florida, but I stand with my fellow reptile keepers down in Florida who could be subject to the same thing because the laws that they have down in Florida are crazy. They are just crazy. So support US Arc Florida, make a donation, become a member so we can definitely hold these officers accountable as well as talk to the governor. I put the information down in the description as well. Reach out to the governor's office. We have to we have to make sure that they know we're here. We got to make some noise and we all need to be in an uproar because this could happen to any one of us. This is an unfortunate video um, for me to be making and I don't, I don't wish this even on my worst enemy. Um, it's very unfortunate. And it's very sad to be honest that we have people in the world that think that, that, that this is okay. Their, their job is to protect the wildlife yet they're going in and mass murdering captive reptile collections and it needs to stop. Hopefully you guys, I'm not going to, well, I, I really hope nobody enjoys this video because it's very unfortunate, but drop a comment down below, share your thoughts, support US Arc Florida, and I'll see you guys next time.